Good evening. Colonel North, former Secretary Fawn Hall, today offered a justification for destroying Iran-Contra documents. Sometimes you have to go above the written law. Minutes later, she said she really didn't mean that. And Director Casey and I had a lengthy discussion about the fact that this whole thing was coming unraveled and that things ought to be, quote, cleaned up. And I started cleaning things and up. And when you cleaned them up, did you or did you not shred documents that reflected the president's approval of the diversion? Objection. How many times do we have to have the question asked, Mr. Chairman? The witness has done it, uh, asked, answered that question, I think, about 10 times this morning, and I request respectfully that we move I, on to a new subject. I must overrule this because I have some difficulty in trying to get a clear answer myself, and I'm certain counsel is having that difficulty. Please proceed. Well, what is your question, counsel? <laughs> have you forgotten the question? Well, I have, and I have to make objections, so you, you ask it again, you, and I'll... You, you did, and it was overruled, and the question stands. I'd like the witness to answer it, if he remembers it. Could we... He obviously doesn't remember it. He just asked you to repeat it. May you we did. have... You did. He did not. Sir, do you remember the question? My memory has been shredded. If, if you would be so kind as to repeat the question. You've testified that you shredded documents shortly after you heard from Director Casey that Furmark had said monies had been used from the Iranian arms sales for the benefit of the Contras. That is correct. And my question to you is, did you or did you not shred documents that reflected presidential approval of the diversion? I have absolutely no recollection of destroying any document which gave me an indication that the president had seen the document or that the president had specifically approved. I assumed that the three transactions which I supervised or managed or coordinated, whatever word you're comfortable with, and I can accept all three, were approved by the president. I never recall seeing a single document which gave me a clear indication that the president had specifically approved that action. I want to make sure we understand each other, sir. I'm talking about a document such as the type you've testified about with a check mark where it's, it says approve. I do not recall seeing a document with a check mark approve. One thing still upsetting me, however, is that no one kept proper records of meetings or decisions. This led to my failure to recollect whether I approved an armed shipment before or after the fact. I did approve it. I just can't say specifically when. There have been a lot of allegations thrown around that uh, the Contra resupply oper operation was involved in cocaine trafficking. We found absolutely no evidence during my tenure at the NSC that any of the resistance leaders were in themselves or their subordinates involved in drug running. Although there was enough evidence to warrant investigation into CIA drug trafficking, there was no serious interest on the part of committee members, and no first-hand witnesses were called. At one point, the hearings were disrupted by two observers who burst out in protest. For these actions, the protesters were handed down stiff jail sentences of over a year each. They never got into drugs, um, even though it kept coming up in their face. They, they had got declassified a lot of memos from Robert Owen, in which he was telling Oliver North that there were Contra leaders who were in, involved in the drug traffic. The only questions they allowed on this was to sort of smooth it over or to blame it on somebody else. The news program over the weekend suggested that Rob Owen, who testified earlier, was involved in drug smuggling. Now, is there any truth to that? Uh, can you shed any light for us on that subject? Absolutely false. Uh, Mr. Owen is the last person, perhaps right beside me, that would ever be engaged in those kinds of activities. 